What's up, guys? This is Toasty Podcast. My name's Guy. And I'm Maddie B. Today, we're talking vaccines, passports, maybe some microchips in there somewhere. I don't know. And Sputnik. Hmm? And Sputnik. <laughs> nah, not Sputnik. No, yeah. Yeah, we're talking about Sputnik, actually. Sputnik 5. Really? Mm hmm. You have it planned already? It's right, not what you think. <laughs> hmm. So, just real quick, Sputnik 5 just happens to be the name of the uh, Russian COVID-19 vaccine. Fun fact. Oh. Yeah. Isn't that That weird? makes sense. And not that's the satellite from the 50s. That's an interesting name. Why do they keep calling stuff the Sputnik, because dude? Because Russians are very prideful people. Very prideful people. Yeah. Which is okay. Yeah. In, in moderation, I guess. Uh, yeah, right, dude. <laughs> So, as far as the vaccine goes, um, what I've found is that, according to <clears throat> CDC, because, you know, they know everything, uh, it's a DNA vaccine, which kind of, basically, it means it changes the DNA of the virus, like, by what they put in your body. Um, mm-hmm. and there's a spike protein on the virus they're targeting specifically. Obviously, DNA is protein. Well, I don't know about obviously, but DNA is protein. And so what they can do is they can change that protein in that way, right? So when they inject it into you, it attacks that spike protein, essentially changing that spike protein. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say attacked. It's like instructions because it's DNA. It's instructions because it's DNA. And um, that's how it changes the protein of the virus. So it literally just changes the virus within itself, Um, you know, basically making it absolutely useless the thing Mm -hmm. is there are still people of course that will get it afterwards get covid after having the vaccine and uh apparently that's a big deal i don't know there's a lot of cases in florida um but with any vaccine like you have i guess quote unquote fallout you know what i mean you have breakthrough cases or whatever like people will get get the virus after getting the vaccine that happens that does happen yeah it's like a i think most vaccines have like a between 90 and 95 percent uh efficacy rate and like the thing is the deal is it's not about it's not about whether or not i would take a vaccine it has nothing to do with that i'm not an anti-vaxxer that's not how I, that's not who i profess to be it's just not what happens yeah but the the thing is is that it's it's been a year you know, and a half, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden we have this crazy new vaccine. I guess I don't even know if we've used MN- well, mRNA even, vaccines ever. It hasn't even right? been a I year. Mean, have, like but. Operation Warp Speed started, uh, like mid to late April of 2020. So it hasn't even been a year. And it's it's completely different than traditional vaccines. It doesn't use yeah. the virus at all. It's a totally different thing. They it's created a, this it is DNA the first and put it in us, like. It is the first uh, RNA. It's the first Whatever. RNA mRNA vaccine approved for use in humans. And that's my thing, dude. The first, the one. first one, and we're at a year and a half. Like, it's, why? You it, know, and I, it, I, I funny, just not the the thing is like Operation Warp Speed and uh, Big Pharma basically teamed up. So, big government, big pharma teamed up uh, to create this vaccine as fast as possible they were just like any way you can make it doors open there's like six different types of COVID-19 vaccines out there currently um and uh one of them being Johnson Johnson I'm guessing yeah and that is a traditional vaccine yeah they just waited around a little while longer and they have the normal vaccine everyone else has yeah exactly um but they got it done in I mean working together like all doors open no red tape essentially um when was it so basically late march early april to early november late october so i don't I don't know when that is uh six months Golly. yeah i mean that's that's super super duper and fast. that is why i'm gonna hang out for a bit yeah i'm gonna hang out for a bit and i'm not gonna worry about it and we're gonna see what happens it doesn't make me an anti-vaxxer yeah 
Dr. Fauci said in, in, early, in early March, he was like, it's probably going to be like a year, year and a half. And even that, a lot of people were like, that's pretty optimistic. You know, that's pretty fast. And here we are. I'm talking like 10 year effects. Like a year I'm after he said like, that. Who knows? I'm talking like way down the line. Yeah. I'm already young. So I already have a low, freaking crazy low chance of getting this crap mm-hmm. and dying from it, let's right, say. Right, exactly. I can probably get it, but it's just like, come on. Now. I mean, I have a suppressed immune system. I got right. it, and I was fine in a weekend. You know, it really well, just at least depends you milk on how. Because there are some people out there that did, and it's yeah. hilarious to me. Yeah, exactly. I just. <sighs> no intro today, guys. Sorry. Um, I just kind of like did this thing live. So yeah. it's our second time being live. I love it. I love doing this crap. It's amazing. If you guys have any comments, obviously comment. I can see them this time, unlike last time. And um, other than that, I want to get into the passport thing. Like, I want to talk about how absolutely an infringement on that, an infringement on rights with that. That just, isn't that like, do you, is that an infringement of rights to you? Like, isn't it just like stupid to have to? Yeah, it's gonna, a, it's an infringement of uh, privacy. I think. I mean, I think my medical records are my business and not you know the airline company or the faa or you know some cruise line or you know whatever i choose to go do i'm I'm a responsible adult i've had covid so i'm probably good for the next little while at least yeah i just had to test that on facebook sorry guys so make sure this i mean i don't know i i get it and you can say like uh, you know, a okay, company has the right to do that, but it really infringes on. It really infringes on society and you, and your rights as an individual, uh, for sure. And Governor DeSantis in Florida has already said we're not going to do COVID passports at right. all. Like we're not we're not going to do that right in this state. So, hmm. Disney World is going to be open. No pa- no uh, passport required. Disneyland, you're probably going to have to have a COVID passport something that says on some sort of legal document so now we're the, go- probably from the cdc that says you've registered with the federal government with the cdc now this giant bureaucracy has you all your private information you know and people said this wasn't going to be this is not going to be political or it's not going to get that political or whatever right remember this this yeah. is like march right we have we have previous episodes of us talking about this and being like yeah, right. yo covid is going to be so political it's insane it already yeah. it's already insane already like what the hell but now it seems like it's been like the dividing line almost for states, dude. Uh huh. I it's mean, look, look, look at how Texas and Florida are out here like chilling like villains. Yeah, just look Thank at you look so at, much, Texas. Look at Florida's you know? res- response Texas forever. versus California's response. Hashtag. It's like literally 180 degrees different. It can be more different than each other. Yeah, well, and California's yeah. still locked down. Like their kids aren't going to school right now. I know. Yeah, we talked about that last time, dude. Yeah. School tons of schools are still closed. Still closed. You're effed, dude. You're effed. And they're going to make vaccines a requirement for students and teachers, and uh, most parents are going to have to get vaccines themselves if they want their kid to be in uh, this school, public schools mostly. And it's it's nuts. And uh, I was just reading on Vox, unfortunately, yeah. Vox. that there's uh, <laughs> vaccine themed gear is in high demand on Etsy. And it's like it's stuff like uh, here this vaccine. Oh my pen, gosh, dude! Like this. What in the heck, dude? If you guys can see that on my screen, I don't know if you can. Um, uh, yeah, you can. You can see that. They're just like fully, little, fully vaccinated. Little pins. It's got little, little, little pins. They're, they're already it's ridiculous. They're already doing that. Like that's just for pins? that's just for style. That's just for style? virtue signaling on your lapel, dude. That's, that's so, what that is. Oh my gosh, dude. Um, but. According to Washington Post, uh, pop culture, dude. So yeah, according to Washington Post, let me find the exact quote. The other thing is, I'm seeing all these news outlets, right? Like, <clears throat> obviously left leaning news outlets, but like CBS or sorry ABC, for example, was like, uh-huh. "Go ahead and keep your card. You know, you're gonna need it later. You know, they're all just like encouraging this thing. Yep, like it's nothing. Like it doesn't matter, or it's not some crazy. You know." infringement on your yeah. rights. The, the White House declined to answer questions. This is from the Washington Post. Uh, it's just a snippet of this article. Uh, they declined, the White House declined to answer questions about the passport initiative. So there is a passport initiative. Uh, instead, yeah. pointing to public statements that uh, Zients or Zients, uh, he's the head of the 
coronavirus response team uh, for the White House and other officials made this month. Our role is, to, uh, this is from Zients, quote, our role is to help ensure that any solutions in this area should be simple, free, open source, accessible to people.